thing. Huge amount of time talking about because, frankly, the American people, on average, they're more interested in gas prices and wages uh, and issues yeah, that touch and, on their day to day lives. Right, and reality most, shows uh, and a direct way. Sex so change operations. Political attention. No, 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 no. We're stupid. This, this we don't know anything place. about politics. We're not as smart as uh, you and it's gonna get some would like us to be. And we have to ask ourselves. Next question, please. Who do we have over there? Is, are we able to still make this democracy work the way it's supposed to? Not when you're a fanatic communist in the White House. How can you make democracy work when the power center has been seized by a madman? Of the founders. Oh, now the Anybody founders are his best friend. In the Constitution. The founders never imagined the character of your low of your low character would ascend to such a high place. The founders. They never thought the people would be this drugged up and stupid. A nominee made in accordance with the Constitution by the President of the United States, with a year left practically in in, uh, in office. No, it's not a year left practically. Pretty hard to find that in the Constitution. No, my right. friends, this is you, unprecedented. You, 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 He's lying through his teeth. You've gotten four now, Jeff. Uh, total. Oh, boy, this is good. This is good. Uh, thank you, it's Mr. good President. stuff. Um, two different Which stooge did he get now from NBC? Um, last year oh, now, let's President switch the topic now to something Syria, irrelevant. Like, so Mr. President, do you really want to go to war with Russia or not? Well, you know, Jim, I want to say this. A war wouldn't be a bad thing in my last few months. Think of what I can get away with if there was an actual war. Any other questions out there? Martha? The rebels, which the U.S. is backing. Uh, how do you respond to critics who say that you have been outfoxed by Putin? And uh, what is your plan <laughs> if Aleppo does fall? Do you plan to step up military action to help the uh, rebels in Syria who you have said rebels. Uh, are you hear this? key to... The murderers, the moderate terrorists are exactly. rebels. You hear? I ask you about 2016 as well. Okay, they, they, uh, they, there's getting to be a lot of questions here. Okay, how, about, uh, question right how, about I, how about I just answer that one? Okay, sure. Well, uh, my moderate uh, terrorists, I mean rebels, I mean freedom fighters. For, first of all... What I, if, if you look back at the transcripts, what I said was that Russia has been propping up Assad this entire time. Who's the propping you up this entire Putin time? finally had to send his own troops and his own aircraft and, his, uh, and, and invest this massive military operation was not a testament to... A, great strength it was a testament to the weakness of assad's position oh you're so yeah. full of it it's frightening it's only because putin entered the fray that isis is on the run you liar you putin should be given a nobel prize for making isis on the run and stopping the rapes and the murders and the killings you are an embarrassment to the human race manage it yourself and then you have good relations with them you send in your army when the horse you're backing what isn't effective and that's exactly what are you what's talking happened. about now what i said was is that russia would involve itself in a quagmire uh, absolutely it will if, if there's anybody who thinks that somehow the fighting ends because russia and the regime has made some initial advances about three quarters of the country is still under control of folks other than assad Folks, that's not stopping anytime soon. So, you know, you want to hear a man lying to the world. You're listening to a man lying to the world. A little child caught lying. His pants are on fire. He's lying so badly. It was Russia who has set ISIS back on its heels. It's because of Russia that ISIS is on the run. And this man is the man who has propped up ISIS. Oh, I've studied this in such great detail. It's all in government zero. If you think I'm just making this up on the spot, then you're a very, 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 very poor individual mentally. Let's listen to the. Oh, let's listen to him again. Let him keep going now. That points to those issues being solved, and that is. Putin should get a I Nobel mean, Prize for putting ISIS on 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 its, now, on its heels. Putin may think that uh, he's prepared to invest in a permanent occupation of Syria with Russian military. That's going to be mm -hmm. pretty costly. That's going to that's going to be a, a uh -huh, big piece yeah, of we'll put him on his uh, we'll put him on notice there. If if you look at the state of the Russian economy, uh, that's probably not the best thing for See, he'd Russia. like to break Russia. Do you understand what this what idiot is doing?
smarter. Our natural ally against radical fascism called Islamo-fascism. This guy hates Putin because Putin's taking on the Islamo-fascist. Do you understand this? Do you understand which side Hussein is on? Do you finally understand the one, the one entity in the world who has got the Islamo-fascists on the run? This guy hates. So which side is Hussein on? Whether or not that's possible. It's hard to do because there's been a lot of bloodshed. How does he get away with this? And if Russia continues how? indiscriminate Take a look at the streets. The we've been seeing. Go walk through the streets. You'll see how he gets away with the, the blimps walking by, with the stomachs. Take a look at the faces on the people. Human bodies with no souls walking around. Go, go look at the blimps floating by on, on junk food. I've got to take a break. Hardened fighters and... Uh, don't you're screaming ascribe deafening me uh, and can't be fighting each other uh, and so that's probably as important as anything that we're going to be doing uh, in Libya over this incompetent moron Curly. has disturbed the entire world order R just shut him yeah, off Mr. for a minute President. let me just set the record straight Putin should get a should get a Nobel Prize for taking Isis on and, and putting them on the run this guy propped up ISIS and did nothing for three years. He let ISIS metastasize into a rape machine, a kidnap machine, a murder machine. It was Obama who fed ISIS the weapons. Everybody who studied this knows that. It was Putin who stepped in as the hero of the world. And he hates Putin because he knows Putin's a better man than he, number one. And number two, there's a number two to this. Never forget that Hussein may not be on the side that you think he's on. Never, ever forget that his loyalties are questionable. Look back, he won't even say Islamic terrorism. Look back at every event that's occurred, he's swept it under the rug. You look back, after that tragedy in Paris, he was the only world leader who would not go there because he wanted to show solidarity with the other side. You look back and you could see the truth. But most of you won't look back because you won't even look forward. You won't even look down. You won't look up. Most of you are deaf, dumb, and blind. And that's how this man gets away with this on a daily basis. Now, I can listen to him, and I can be infuriated and yell all I want. It's not going to make a difference. If they could whack a Supreme Court justice and get away with it, tell me what else they could do. You say, well, how do you know they killed him? How do you know they didn't? That's the whole point of this discussion for two days. How can you definitively say that Scalia was not killed? How can you say that? You can't because there's been no investigation. That's all we're asking for. He died under suspicious circumstances in a hotel room at a remote ranch in, 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 uh, in uh, the boondocks of Texas. If, God forbid, you die in a hotel room at a Holiday Inn in New Jersey and your wife is next to you, the police come in and tape the room off and they perform an autopsy whether she wants it or not. Do you know that? You didn't know that. That's the law of the land. She could say no autopsy. They'll say, well, sorry. That's the law. Let me see your insurance policy. That's number two. We're sorry, ma'am, but we have to look at it. Who are the beneficiaries? This is homicide 101. Every detective in the country knows this. It doesn't matter what they're, Democrat, Republican, black, white, Asian, gay, or straight. Everyone in the homicide business knows that. But the American press knows nothing. They see no evil. They hear no evil. They speak no evil of Hussein. Okay, I'll take one more minute of Hussein if I can. I don't want to blow it. Just let's hear Hussein again. Uh, the kind of thing that we saw in 2007, 2008. So there's a broad convergence of interests around those issues. Uh, I think what you're seeing among Democrats right now is uh, a difference in tactics, trying to figure out uh, how do you actually get things done. See the lie? How do you actually the big operate in... Uh, you hear Divided uh, government, environment that's, gridlock, gridlock, uh, right, gridlock. So how come they won't? How come they won't uh, talk to me? With, I'm just a nice guy. Uh, the, the I'm a good man. And, frankly, and, and there's special interests in gridlock and millionaires and billionaires. Right now that, All right, turn. That's enough already. The lies don't. They're not even entertaining. The lies are not even entertaining anymore. That's all. End of story. Gridlock. That's a new invention. Anyone who stands up to the fanatic left-wing maniac in the White House is, is, is gridlock, you hear? Gridlock. It wasn't enough. He got everything he wanted. No, that's gridlock still because there's still a Congress. That's the gridlock. He can't wake up in the morning and just write up an order that he wants without any opposition. That's gridlock to him.
After all, his whole life is that of a, the skids being greased. Never worked a day in his life. Never performed a service that anyone needed. Never produced a product that anyone needed. Next thing you know, it's like the gardener in, uh, in being here with Peter Sellers. They made him president. Then all of a sudden he starts to act like the president. Da, 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 da. You remember in the beginning how he looked back when he walked up the ramp of Air, Air Force One? Him and Michelle, he looked back like a kid who was play acting at the president. And he was shocked that he got this far. The man did nothing his whole life to be qualified to be president. And he's like the gardener in that, that great movie, Being There. You remember that movie? Well, here it is. Here it is almost eight years later, and the fun is just about to begin. Be here or be nowhere. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. I'm Paul Tudales DeMond. Welcome back to the Savage Nation. Anywhere out of this world, the world is getting sicker by the day. It's getting more insane by the day because the man in the White House is such a maniac. He has the nerve to get up there and say that there's gridlock because he can't get everything he wants and the government isn't working. The same lie for seven years now. And then he's asked, would you appoint a moderate to the Supreme Court to avoid a fight? No, where'd you get that idea from? Why should I do that, he said. And he laughed at the reporter. He was shocked. Then a the reporter asks him, didn't you oppose an appointment in, in 07? And he goes around the question. That didn't apply now because things change. They evolve. Well, I just, just came in from a coroner, for those of you out there who are idiotic and don't understand the law nor why there was a, a miscarriage of justice here. Michael, I'm retired from Bay Area County Sheriff's Coroner's Office and have been on these types of calls in our state. Our government code cannot apply in the state of Texas, but I looked up the Texas law, he writes, and found Chapter 49 in the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure. This chapter defines duties performed by justices of the peace. Section 49.04 references deaths requiring an inquest. Within this is subsection 3, quote, the body or body part of a person is found, the cause or circumstances of death are unknown, and A, the person is identified, or B, the person is I, it says identified, there is more, but the simplicity of these points is enough to indicate an inquest should have been called for. In the case of Justice Scalia, they seem to have relied on Chapter 49.10C2, which allows a justice may merely certify that no autopsy is necessary, certain conditions being met. The cause for inquest to me seems to negate the latter course. You're absolutely correct that in that an autopsy really is a vile desecration of a body. But a family's aversion to this does not allow to ignore the law. To me, as a former law officer, this appears to have deviated from mandates within Texas statute law. Now, you have to look at the justice herself, Cinderella. That's her real name. They found an idiot, a justice out there. It sounds like a fifth grader. Cinderella. She can't even pronounce the word myocardial, the words myocardial infraction. Myocardial infraction, she says. And then corrects herself. You say, well, why are you making fun of her? You're relying upon her to make a decision? She was not there. She didn't see the body. She relied upon a marshal who was appointed by Obama to tell her there was no foul play. The whole thing stinks. A bad novel would understand this stinks. I demand that Governor Abbott of Texas step in and demand an investigation immediately before it's too late. Here is Judge Cinderella Guevara on declaring Justice Scalia dead and deciding against an autopsy, even though she did not see the body. Listen to 01. One of the things that I did ask the sheriff and the marshal that was there, if there were any signs of foul play, and what they said, say? absolutely not. And then at that time, I still wanted to be careful, and that's why I asked if the physician would call me. His heart did stop. On the death certificate, it'll say myocardial, myocardial infarction. This is, this is the justice. Of the, the, whole, the whole world didn't ask the question, who is this moron? She had no right to just make a decision like that. She should be investigated right now. If I were the governor, I would indict her. I would indict her right now, call a grand jury to indict Judge Cinderella Guevara on preemptively declaring Scalia dead and deciding against any investigation. I would indict her immediately. They call for a, a grand jury immediately. 
There's sufficient cause to call her in because she's the weakest link in the puzzle. The marshal won't crack. The marshal won't crack.